So we got a long hitch in from Bainbridge, Ohio to the Serpent Mound uh, State Memorial Park. We got in there about 4.30 yesterday. It was, just wasn't enough time to really even check anything out. We walked around the big mound and all that, but didn't really get to spend much time uh, walking around the park and checking things out. So we came out of the park, which the park is right there behind those big trees. You go up a hill and the mounds and everything are up there. <laughs> so we came out of the park. A lady that works there saw me come in, pack and everything. And so she made it. She made it kind of clear that people aren't to be there after five because they close the gates to where your vehicles can't get out. So we didn't stealth camp in the park, although I would would love to have been nothing but respect for that place and just to uh, sit and absorb that area would have been kind of cool. We came out here, I looked on Google Earth, found a creek literally right next to the place. Um, literally the creek, creek runs right back that way and circles around and goes along the edge. And I think there's some trails up there that come down, not all the way to the creek, but come down and around that area and go back up to the mound. And so we found this spot, able to get a bath, able to get Freya a bath, although the water's not as fast moving or clean but oh well it works and get my fat ass up Ooh. there's a little tuckered out Freya although we didn't walk much yesterday we got a long hitch from Renee and Olivia thank you very much even though you didn't get my YouTube information or anything but thank you for the long hitch that was a nice nice relief the shoulder on that side of that highway was non-existent so it would have sucked and it was a uh, really 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 far the serpent mountains really far but they lived in the holler right on the other side of the sacred mound so they were coming all the way out here anyways i was just uh, a little uh good deed for them to do for the day it was awesome and they have a ton of dogs because we had to ride on the right in the back of a truck uh, on top of all their bags of dog food. So they must have a lot of dogs because they had a ton of bags of dog food. And yeah, this is where we uh, camped last night. <clears throat> nice little shot. But yeah, I think we're going to go over to the Serpent Mound again when it opens. And uh, really uh, tramp around and take a look. I love the conspiracy side of what these mounds actually are. Like the stories that are coming out. <clears throat> and if you're interested, you should uh, check out a channel on YouTube called Waking Up With Analog. He goes through just tons of old files of newspaper clippings from... He goes state by state. And it goes through all the old news cl newspaper clippings from like the as far back as you can go and just looks for the interesting ones where they've dug up, you know, giants and dug up pygmies and dug up um, buildings that are underneath some of these mounds. Um, the cave systems that are running underneath these mounds. And it's pretty interesting. I like uh, alternative theories on things. Because I don't trust our mainstream uh, scientists and government. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't. <laughs> I think they're selling us a bill of goods. But what's interesting is I was sitting here last night and the sun was going down behind me. And the way the light was shining back there along the creek. I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but try to get it as max as it'll go. So that dark spot in the middle, sorry, it's moving around. I can't get it to be any steadier. You'll see. Oh, well, let me see if I can get my finger to right there. 
<laughs> Anyways, that dark spot right in the middle. To the left, there's a smaller dark spot at the bottom of that main dark spot. And to me, that looks like a cave. Now, with my eyes, from here, it looks like a cave. The camera, it doesn't do it any justice. But I'm willing to bet. And that mound is up on a hill. And upon entering, going up the hill, you pass a house. Amazing stonework. I'll get video of it later. And... The whole garage and everything's all underground. Like they park their cars on top of the garage. <laughs> so it's almost like that thing was built into the side of the hill. And they did an underground garage with a flat top. So I'm willing to bet. If there was some LiDAR put over the top of this area. I'm thinking that there's some underground system going on. Just like some of these other mounds. I mean, one mound in Tennessee they dug up and it was completely a giant building underneath the burial. So are the burials just protecting what's secretly underneath these mounds? I don't know. Pretty interesting. I like, I like stuff like that. Yeah, this is a beautiful little spot. That's the highway route 73 we came off of. And literally the entrance to the park is right there you see those little white dots in the background it's like they're posts as you drive up the driveway so we're gonna go back in and check it out what sucks is the observatory ladder for the mound <coughs> is closed so you can't get up top and get good pictures of it so i took a google earth snapshot and uh I'll post that on my uh, Instagram. Um, I haven't been able to get an app uh, for editing. For some reason, Google Play won't accept my PayPal anymore. Like, I don't know what happened. It just will not let me pay with PayPal. I don't know what happened. Uh, I gotta figure out how I can get Google Play to accept a new source of payment. And I tried doing some things, but it just wouldn't work. But So we are uh, just waking up, finish my coffee. I'm going to start packing up because we're going to lose clouds. And I don't want to be standing here packing up in the hot sun. Although it's supposed to only be in the upper 70s, mid 70s. But yeah, I want to go check out the mountain one more time. Walking from the head of the mound, like I did yesterday, up to the tail, get a little bit better video, but it just sucks shooting video from the ground at mounds. Uh, literally, I'm walking next to the mound, and it's probably as tall as me, so I'm literally just walking around like this little hill, <laughs> and it doesn't look cool. It's not good video. Um, there's no way to get up top. So the only way I could think of was to Google Earth a snapshot and you guys can see looks like and you guys can Google image serpent mount if you want. <clears throat> but if you start at the head and work your way back to tail, you're going uphill. So you kind of get a slight downslope of downslope view of the serpent eating the egg. And really, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it looks like a serpent too, but it also looks like a sperm. So there's that, you know, it does have some, um, planetary alignments, which I'll try to get the placards as I go by them, uh, equinoxes, equinoxes and, uh, solstices. Uh, it lines up in a certain way, the way the tail is wrapped, the way the body wraps back and forth so we are close to the fall equinox we got a, probably another week or so and it depends on your area you can um, what I'd like to do to find out what day exactly the equinoxes 
are or solstices are in your area is I go to a sunrise sunset calendar and I look for the day that for equinoxes I look for the day in your area and you enter in your city and your state in the map or in the calendar and it'll tell you what your sunrise and sunsets times are and for the equinoxes you find the day that has the closest to 12 hours of light and 12 hours of dark so fall and spring and whichever day that is in your area that is your guys's equinox now they do throw a general one out there the 23rd or the 21st or whatever <clears throat> those are just a general off the uh off of the equator um so yeah and then for solstices uh, if you're looking for a winter solstice, you want to find the day that has the longest night. And that'll be your winter solstice in your area. And if you're looking for summer, you look for the day that has the most daylight in your area. And that will be your uh, summer solstice in your area. <laughs> They're not all the same. They're not all on the same day. But yeah, I'm really thinking there's a cave system back there. Too bad I don't have a little kayak, or too bad there's not just a boat sitting here. It'd be awesome. I'll just borrow it real quick and go up there. I'm gonna check it out. This creek isn't even moving. I don't even know which way it flows. Can't even really tell. None of the leaves are moving. It might just be at its little standstill. But yeah, it'd be cool to take a boat back there. Well, this is turning into a long video. I'm rambling. All right, guys.